Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this scrapbook collage style effect. It's very easy to do. Before we get into it, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing because it helps me out a lot. And yeah, without further ado, let's start. To start, choose pictures of your favourite artist or whoever you want to make the cover of. I've got a few here already that I've downloaded and just select them and put them into the and put them into Photoshop. Make them a bit smaller so you can see what's going on. Select a few images that you want to crop out and choose the pen tool on the left side and start making a selection. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's a scrapbook after all so it doesn't matter if it doesn't look great or it's not very sharp. Just get the main bits, it's not that important if you don't do it well. Right click once you're done and press make selection and copy that image. Okay, we've already cut out one of them and choose another one that you want to cut out. For example, I'm going to choose this one. And again, just choose the pen tool and cut them out. And I'm also going to cut out this one. In some pictures, you don't want to crop out everything because you want to leave some, some of the background as well. So for example, in this one where he's riding a horse, I'm just going to cut out part of it gonna go around here behind this head and I'm gonna stop cropping out and I'm gonna choose the background here I'm gonna make the selection and copy the layer I'm also gonna do it for this picture so again just choose the part that you want to crop out and get rid of it okay now the next part is placing the images make sure they cover the whole screen so don't leave any blank spaces behind. The images that you've left a bit of the background in, put them in the back of the photo. Once you've placed all the images and you're happy with what you got, go on the layers and select all of them. Now you want to press right click and you want to go here on merge layers. Click that, click that and it's going to make everything into one layer. Now you want to go on the top left corner and click on filter. Go on camera roll filter and here you want to change the colour. So go on exposure and turn it down a bit. Up the contrast quite a lot. Don't touch the highlights or the shadows or the whites or the blacks. And clarity, turn it up a bit. Vibrance, turn it down. And saturation turn it down a bit as well press ok and it's going to make this magazine style look this old magazine look now add this broken paper image that i'm going to leave in the description for you to download and go on magic one two and just select it once you've selected it just copy it a few times so you have a, some spares and place it behind and underneath some of the images now let's add some text I'm also going to leave this picture in the description or you can just search on Google magazine text you're going to have all these letters select the pen tool again and crop out the letters you want the artist I'm making the cover of is called Nico B so I'm going to choose the letters N-I-K-O-B Once you've selected the letters, get rid of the rest of the letters. And now place the ones that you have in order and in the middle of the picture. Once the letters are in order, select all the letters on layers and merge them together. Now you can transform them and make them as big as you want and place them in the center of the image. I also recommend adding this overlay, this broken paper overlay. Just search on Google broken paper overlay and it will probably appear. Select lighten and once you've done this you pretty much have your cover ready. As you can see it wasn't very hard to do. If you have any questions leave them in the comment section below because I'll answer them. And yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, leave a like if you like the video and yeah, see you in the next one.